Hello and welcome to Infinity. Pin light blend mode, five different examples. First example. We just go to adjustments and curves. And we're going to get the blend mode, of course, to pin light. And when you move this up here, it eventually will start lighting and it's actually one of the features of this is that it's a slow and it's not one of these things you have to fiddle with too much but it gets a pretty good lightening all the way up and a pretty good darkening all the way down. What it won't do is if you do an S curve on it then if you remove it nothing happens it's the same you've got to do it either up oops there you go up to lighten quite a good way and darken down again quite a good way. That's one. Second one is to do a tint, but we'll do a, a split toning one with this. So the first one is you go layer, new fill layer, and put that in as a bin light. And do a light orange on this, or light yellowy orange colour. There we go. Then go to the blend ranges, the gear wheel there, right hand graph, pull down the left which is the blacks, so we're going to keep the colour in the lights. And then we're just going to do a control J to duplicate that, change the colour here to a dark teal, and pull up the rod left there and pull down the right. And we can see that we can take one off, we can have just the teal effect, or we can have the combined effect. And there's just the orange effect, and that's combined. Okay, the third one, something completely different. If we put on a pixel layer, here and go to filters noise and purling noise we need actually black and white on this so i'm just going to cancel that get the color here back to normal which is going to be if i put a paintbrush on there so that blue there should be white so i've got black and white let's try that one again so now we go filters noise and purling noise. There we got that black and white effect and we can play around with this. And when we change this to pin light, need to apply it first. There we go. And we get this effect like this and it's for doing, if you want a window or windscreen that's got a bit of muddy water on it or something. So that's a completely different effect of it. So, next one. Uh, let's do a duplicate, control J, and top layer to pin light, and the bottom layer, just invert it, control I. We get a psychedelic effect. So, and this will be very different depending on where you are, and you can also play around with opacity to get the effect of it. Okay. And the last one, we'll put that back to zero for now. I'm going to hit Control J twice, so we got duplicated twice. Now then top layer, I'm going to put two pin light. In the middle layer, I'm going to invert, control I to invert. But now what I'm going to do is bring the opacity down here to 50%. When you get to 50%, there a lot of this is grey. And in fact, the darks and the lights which are retained. And when you've got a grey, that means you can use 
something like an overlay or something, another contrast blend if I hit Control G to group that, and then do something like an overlay or a soft light. And what I'm doing is I'm contrast into the darks and the lights, but the midtones remain the same. There we go, that's five different ways of using the pin light blend mode. Thank you very much for watching.